the first and the foremost part we are studying here is we have two diagrams here, but first we will be discussing about the dicot root. So, first uh, dicot root we have uh, talked about root heads, these are the epidermal outgrowths and uh, which shows the uh, area of absorption of water is done with the root heads. And the second most uh, layer is we will be dealing in uh, detailed uh, monocot root in later, first we are talking with reference to dicot root. So, the second most layer is epidermis. So, what is epidermis as we all know, uh, epidermis is the outermost protective layer, it is a uh, rectangular cells. Uh, are there. It is also called as exodermis and it is also called as epiblema and uh, it is uh, acting as an outermost protective layer. Here in epidermal cells, uh, you have uh, two types of cells are present here. First one is called as the root hair cells which arise uh, which we have already uh, written at the top and the second one are the epidermal cells which are helpful in the giving protection to the plant body. Next layer to the epidermis will be the actually it is not there in the diagram, but then immediate next layer 2 to 3 layers immediately to the epidermis we will have exodermis. Uh, it is the thick walled epidermal cells which is normally seen uh, it, it is also living uh, cells consisting of protoplasmic content. These are uh, normally seen in more uh, maximum number of monocot root, dicot root and gymnosperms. Now, another one uh, that layer is called as exodermis. Next one is we are having a cortex. What is cortex here? A bridge between the ep epidermis and the vascular tissue system is cortex. The cortex cells are uh, round polygonal uh, round cells or oval cells with lot of intercellular spaces present in them. These occupy majority of the tissue system and these are giving mechanical strength to the plant body. Next layer is endodermis. Endodermis is a barrel shaped cells. It is a bridge between the cortex and the inner vascular tissue system. Endodermis is useful for as a bridge between the cortex and the uh, vascular tissue system. For example, in maize you will see the brands of Casparian strips present in the endodermis. Next layer is pericycle we have. In pericycle, it is a single uh, 2 to 3 layers of pericycles are present. It is uh, either uniserate in maximum uh, roots and uh, it may be multiserate in some roots. And next when we come to the inner side of the tissue system uh, that is vascular tissue system we have. Uh, xylem and phloem arranged in alternate and in radial bands. We have the alternate bands of xylem and phloem. We can see in the diagram there are four bands of uh, uh, xylem and surrounded by phloem elements. Now, here the xylem is exact condition, the metaxylem is towards the center and protoxylem is towards the uh, periphery. So, this will be the internal structure of your vascular tissue system and that uh, arrangement of vascular bundle is radial and alternate and in the center of the root you will see the presence of pith. It is parenchymatous tissue which is present. This is about TS of dicot root. For example, in dicot root vascular arrangement is uh, as we said it is alternate and radial. The vascular bundle varies with the different uh, plants here. Uh, it may be diarch, triarch, tetrarch, conditions if there are two bands of xylem and phloem diarch, if there are three bands of xylem and phloem it is triarch and if it is four bands of xylem and phloem then it is called as uh, tetrarch condition. So, in dicot roots the arrangement of vascular bundle is maximum alternate with radial bands of xylem and phloem, but it may be the either it may be diarch triarch or tetrarch condition and the xylem is exarch condition. This is about dicot root.